Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Connor, and today I'm bringing a tutorial on how to import logos into Cinema 4D the easiest way possible. All you need is Cinema 4D R13 and above, um, Adobe Illustrator, and the plugin that you can go download from the description. Uh, just sign up to their site, and you can download it straight away from there. Um, so we, what we're going to do is we're going to import the logo that we want to do straight into Adobe Illustrator. Like so, as you see, uh, the edges are really rough because it's still we're still currently working in pixels. Just hit trace image. I'm gonna hit 16 color so I can retain the colors, and hit expand, and then hit ungroup. And if you can, just delete the outer white part. Okay, so from there, just save that file straight up. You don't have to do anything else from there and open up Cinema 4D. Next you want to go to plugin CV at Smart Input and you want to drag all the way down and find your logo and then just open that up straight away. If you didn't delete the outer room which I completely forgot to do you can just go ahead and delete that and just shove that in an extrude nerb. Now the main benefit to this rather than uh, other versions such as having to pen to the logo is this will be perfect and you won't have to worry about uh, any human error. Um, the reason I kept the colour on that is if you hit CV out my import, if you drag that in, it will retain all the colour. Which, but what I forgot to do is in Illustrator, once you've clicked on group, just double click the back, uh, the backing white, and just delete that from there. Um, if you did that correctly, what you should then get is if I show in the Starbucks one, an object like this, fully imported with all the logos, uh, no, sorry, not all the logos, all the colours uh, fully retained in there. And what you can do from there is you can make animations with it. For example, if you change the path spread, it will separate all of the um, the vector shapes that w were in the Illustrator file and allow you to make an animation with them, I don't know, depends what you want to do, but yeah. Anyway, that was pretty much the end of this tutorial, it wasn't a long tutorial, but it's just showing you um, the easiest way to import everything into Cinema 4D. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you later.